How heavy from turning red looks like today? Nobody like you had friends and I've had buddies. It's true, but they don't turn my tummy. Why is this sound sounds familiar? Like you had friends and I This seemed too familiar. turning red there's a reference to toy story in the scene where mei li is running from her mom in the embarrassment of becoming a red panda it's with the clouds seen in the sky <laughs> to come to a new world. 
and what was a blessing became an inconvenience. Oh, this is cute! I love this kind of stuff. Look at holes. In the picture, they're all with their biases. Tyler with his, Jesse, and oh my god, Abby and Taeyong. <laughs> I can't believe that. Miriam's really cool. I love this. I love him. Um, and then Mamie and Jesse, Jesse Robert. That's so adorable. These are for Town's voice actors. Jordan Fisher. Dang, he can sing. Phineas Irish. You never not on my mind. Oh my, oh my. I'm never not by your side. Your side, your side. I'm never gonna let you cry. Oh cry, no cry. Not only this, but in another scene where Maylee is opening the bag and taking the books out, the Canadian flag can be seen on the top right side. And top of all, in the last scene, May can be seen transforming into a monster and back into a human. And when she's human, she has a Canadian flag on her shirt. So, after seeing the flag this many times, we can safely assume that the movie will be taking place in Canada. As the trailer moves forward, we see a couple of shots of an extremely tall tower. But does this mean something? Well, it does. This is the CN Tower, located in the downtown core of Toronto and is Canada's most recognizable and celebrated icon. Here are my five favorite things about Priya from Turning Red. The fact that they gave her curly hair, no one asked if they could touch it, no one bullied her for it, and she never straightened it throughout the entire film. I think it was so beautiful to see on screen. I love that she got a nose ring. I thought that it was such a great touch to add to the character, also being that my three, the girl that voices Priya, also has a nose ring. She has a beautiful, deep complexion, and this makes me really happy because I got bullied a lot for being darker when I was a kid. And also, you get compared to Princess Jasmine all the time as a brown girl, and I feel like for the first time, they're actually gonna have someone to compare us to that is accurately brown. I love that they let my three use more of her real voice. It's a little bit deeper. It doesn't really match that ideal feminine, high-pitched squeal that Disney usually uses. Probably the most important. People are speculating that she might be bisexual, and I think that this scene proves that. Yo, but where is the lie, though? Daisy, Daisy. Give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy. <laughs> All for the love of you. I never met nobody like you. Had friends and I've had buddies. It's true, but they don't turn my tummy. If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh. How though? Cause your leg got cut off, fool. Where are you going for the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bruh. How are you going for the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? Went to build a bear to get May May from turning red. Let's go. You never not on my mind. Oh my, oh my. I'm never not by your side. Your side, your side. I'm never gonna let you cry. Oh cry, no cry. We also got her tail. I love turning red. The only unrealistic part is that all the POC grandmas and aunts turn around to her side and apologize. Immigrant Chinese grandmas don't do that. <laughs> I 
Got this girl and she wants me to do her. I told her I'll come scoop her around eight. She said, That sounds great. Shorty girl's a trooper. No matter what I needed to do, she'd be like, On his own throne, the boss like King Cooper. On the microphone. Just curious, how does AMC feel with Disney advertising their Disney Plus only movie outside of an AMC? I never met nobody like you. Had friends and I've had buddies. It's true, but they don't turn my tummy. Hey, Selena. So, knock knock. Who's there? Spell. Spell who? W H O. <laughs> I think maybe. Hold on, I'll try to give it another go. So here's something from Pixar's newest film, Turning Red, that made me feel so bad for one of the characters. So of course, all these coming-of-age movies has that one jerk. In this movie, it's this kid, Tyler, an annoying kid that's constantly picking on May. But there's a scene in this movie that shows that just because you're mean doesn't mean that you're the popular kid. Basically, Tyler is throwing a birthday party and he wants May to be there. But not just her, he wants her to be the big red panda. But once we hear his reasoning why he wants her there is super heartbreaking. This Friday, if you're there, everyone will come. Simple as that. The only reason why he wanted her there is because he knew that no one else would want to go to his birthday party. Here are some fun facts about Turning Red. The songs sung by the fictional band in the movie Four Town were actually written by none other than Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas. That checks out. And before they started casting, for the voice of May, they hired a 12-year-old actress, Rosalie Chang, who lived close to Pixar headquarters and they just needed her for what they call scratch vocals. But very quickly into the casting process, they realized that she was actually perfect for the role and gave it to her. And this movie actually has a lot of firsts for Pixar, so let me just list them off. First Pixar movie to take place in Canada, first Pixar movie to depict diabetes, and the first Pixar movie ever to be solely directed by a woman. Only took 25 movies, but hey, they got there. And finally, for all you Pixar nerds, the Pizza Planet truck is in this movie and can be spotted at this time soon. Alright, and that's all for today, stay tuned for more. I just got turning red concept, our book. It has Mylan notebook inside. M. Normal. This is hilarious. This movie has so much energy, like genuine energy, and it feels so passionate from beginning to end because it doesn't feel like just another Pixar movie. The animation style is different, incorporating anime influences and leaning away from the more photorealistic look Pixar has been pushing lately. The movie is hyper-stylized rather than hyper-realistic, and it allows the film to have more visual freedom and creativity than past Pixar films. Even though the premise isn't anything groundbreaking, the story feels personal without feeling like Pixar is just trying to get you to cry for no reason. On top of that, this feels like the most grounded movie Pixar has ever made. And it was also just cool knowing that, like, this movie about a teenage girl growing up through the most embarrassing years of her life didn't ignore some of what teenage girls are often embarrassed of, you know? Again, it just adds to the relatability and maturity of the movie because it's not ignoring these topics. Here are my favorite moments of Asian representation in Turning Red. Her Tamagotchi pet, of course. The temple that their parents run and all the history that's explained in the movie because of it. This entire homage to Chinese cooking that made me salivate the entire time. This sick security guard got not one, not two, but three features in this movie. I love that they showcase the people that are in their Chinatown, all the different types and the different stores. This is an exciting one for Muslim representation. I'm not positive of the ethnicity of these characters, but this girl has a hijab. And we see another one right here. Here's this girl, and here she is again. 
There's one more sick background character. And last but not least, Priya, who I made a whole video about. So check it out.